Elliot Engel is a Democratic lawmaker who is supposed to be representing New York's 16th Congressional District. Now, the reason why I say he's supposed to be representing it is because he's not actually representing them. He has not set foot in his district for months, even throughout the duration of a pandemic that's still going on. Not once has he gone to his district to speak with his constituents about their concerns, what they need. Not once. So this individual is not representing his constituents, but he finally did show his cowardly face for the first time in months in his district, and he managed to get caught on hot mic admitting that he wouldn't care if he wasn't facing a primary challenger, and that in actuality, he's only pretending to care. Then, then I got to go down the list, and it's just too many folks here. I, I didn't have a primary over here. Say that again? I didn't have a primary over here. That is astonishing. He just said he would not care if he wasn't facing a primary challenger. So why are you in Congress if you don't care about these issues, these very serious issues that are plaguing your constituents? Why are you there? Well, he revealed why he's there inadvertently. It's because he wants a job. That's it. And here's the issue. This is why this is so problematic. It's not just because Elliot Engel said this. This is not surprising. It's because this is a microcosm of a broader issue. Members of Congress don't actually care. They're completely ambivalent and they just are not concerned with the needs of their, of their constituents. So it takes a literal primary challenger to get them to do the bare minimum, at least put up a facade that they care. I mean, this is absolutely outrageous. Now, we didn't get the full context in that video, but we're going to go to the New York Times because Shane Goldmacher provides us with some additional details. He writes, Representative Elliot L. Engel, a New York Democrat who was facing a serious primary challenge this month and questions about his lack of presence in his district, arrived on Tuesday at a Bronx news conference about local vandalism with a determination to speak. But shortly before the news conference began, Ruben Diaz Jr., the Bronx borough president and organizer of the event, ran through the list of of planned speakers to the assembled politicians. The microphone was already broadcasting. Quote, I cannot have all the electeds talk because we will never get out of here, Mr. Diaz said. Mr. Engel pressed his case for a turn. If I didn't have a primary, I wouldn't care, he said. Repeating, if I didn't have a primary, I wouldn't care. First elected to Congress in 1988, Mr. Engel, who is the chairman of the powerful House Foreign Affairs Committee, will face voters again in New York's primary elections on June 23rd. His opposition being began to consolidate this week as one of his leading rivals, Andam Greg Briorgis, dropped out and endorsed Jamal Bowman, a Bronx school principal. So he clearly showed up for the quick photo op, just wanted to speak, get the picture taken, and get out of there. Putting in the bare minimum, not even the bare minimum, because it's not like this is work. This is not work. This doesn't qualify as work. You're showing up to say words and then leave. I mean, this is outrageous. And the people in that district shouldn't be the only ones outraged. The people across America who saw him say that shouldn't be the only ones outraged. Democratic lawmakers have got to start holding their colleagues accountable. Assuming that there's any Democrats that actually care about the American people, you've got to hold your colleagues accountable when you see this. Nancy Pelosi should strip him of his committee assignments. Members of the Democratic Party who are in Congress need to call on him to resign immediately because he just admitted that he wouldn't care if he wasn't at risk of losing his job. So how can you claim to care about the American people if you allow people like this in your ranks? The answer is you can't. The American people are hurting currently. And you can't allow people like this to continue representing your party. And again, this is an issue that is bigger than Elliot Engel and New York's 16th Congressional District because Democrats across the country they just don't care. You have a Republican Party who is hell-bent on harming the American people and Democrats who just sit idly by as it happens and do nothing and don't really care because all they care about is maintaining that seat, keeping it warm. And this guy has been in Congress since 1988, basically the entirety of my life. What has he done besides hurt his constituents or not be there for them when they need him the most? Now, Jamal Bowman, his challenger, spoke out about this, 
And he says, this is so incredibly painful to watch Representative Ellie Engel. It hurts. We need to be taking care of our communities right now, whether it's election season or not. It's clear that we need new leadership in New York 16. If you think this kind of behavior from an elected representative is unacceptable, join our campaign for progressive change. We need your support in contacting voters and making sure everyone understands what's at stake. So I will put a link in the description box so you can support Jamal Bowman's campaign. And for those of you listening on iTunes, you can go to bowmanforcongress.com to support his campaign. Look, you already see the wind starting to change in this district. His primary challengers are consolidating behind Jamal Bowman, which is a really important step, so they're not fracturing the progressive vote. So if you don't get him out and you live in that district, then when will you be able to defeat him? This guy doesn't care about you. So if you are in New York's 16th congressional district, understand that you deserve a leader. I'm not even saying you deserve better leadership because you haven't had a leader. There has been an absence of leadership in that district. You deserve better. Vote out Representative Elliot Angle because he's not representing you and vote for Jamal Bowman. This is an easy decision. Vote him out. And if he's not voted out, then he needs to resign because the people deserve better in that district and other Democrats need to hold their colleague accountable because this is not acceptable. You know... You know the, you know the thing, thing. You're getting nervous, man, man. man.